Uh, Greg, 20 of these pallet shelters will house uh, a total of 30 people. They are 64 square feet. They have heat, they have air conditioning, they even have a coffee pot. But the question is, is it too much of a good thing? That I have seen more people on the street in every neighborhood that I've been in than I've ever seen in my life. With Snohomish County's homeless problem spiraling out of control, one small step to bring some stability. Pallet homes that'll house up to 30 chronically homeless people, offering a taste of what life could be like. Julie Willie leads the program. Some individuals just need this opportunity. They just need some stability. Everett police and social workers are helping identify people who would be a good fit for the program. They'll be offered mental health and addiction counseling. The Everett Gospel Mission right next door will oversee the shelters, provide food, showers and 24 hour security. 60 people have already shown interest for the 30 spots, but they don't have to agree to services or even stay sober to be here. In fact, there isn't even a time limit for when they have to leave. What's to keep people from taking advantage of this? These individuals want stability and they want shelter and they want to maybe have a different life. So this is going to be a launch pad for that, hopefully. And so we don't really anticipate people taking advantage of it. The point of the project is to clean up Smith Avenue that's been besieged by the homeless for years. Part Part of the program is a new ordinance that makes it illegal for people to sit or lie down outside the community. Police say they will gradually enforce that, starting with outreach and warnings, hoping people will choose to turn their lives around. But the Gospel Mission Sylvia Anderson says people need to be patient. I am 100% confident that it will produce some results. Whether it will produce all the results that every individual in our community thinks, probably not. This is a year-long pilot project funded with a million dollars in federal money. If the Everett project it turns out to be a success, then the city will have to come up with additional funding for the future. Live in Everett tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.